How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of aged beer time in the form of Avery Brewing's 2016 Dewey Chuchi. Uh, or Chochi, however you want to say it. Uh, this is a brewery-only release. It is a barrel-aged coconut porter. Pumpkin porter, mind you. Uh, yeah, I've never had this beer before. Never heard of it before. I get quite a bit of Avery stuff, um, just because I've always loved their gold foil top stuff. And Avery does actually send some beer off to me every now and then. Um, but this, I won a fantasy football league, a beer fantasy football league, and this is one of the beers I got through winning that league. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of tickled pink about drinking this one because, listen, it's a coconut porter, and it's an Avery barrel aged beer. It's a gold foil top, and... It is over mm, almost two and a half years old. It's about wheelhouse for these beers. So, yeah, there you go. Label-wise, it's, it's exactly what these Avery labels are pretty much every single time. Sands a little brewery-only release up top there. What else does it say on here? It says here, uh, a number 41 in our barrel age series. Uh, it's a porter aged in bourbon barrels with coconut spices. And pumpkin added, so it's a pumpkin beer. Uh, Dewey Chuchi, a barrel aged coconut porter brewery only release. Um, it was released October 31st, uh, 2016, and it is a paltry 18.62% alcohol by volume. On the side here, it says Brewed Bob Avery Brewing Company. Uh, experimental oils and lagers that defy styles and categories. This is what we are about. Our driving force, our passion to further innovate spirit. The innovative spirit. I butchered that. I'm trying to read. Yeah, they don't actually talk about this beer at all. So usually on their little side note, they actually give you a little insight on the beer, but it's just a general kind of yeah. Uh, ba ba ba. Let's see. <laughs> that be it, I think. Yeah. So let's crack this sucker open. Where the hell's my bottle opener? I don't know where I put it. Um, I do have a new bottle opener. This sucker down here. It's gigantic. Some bitch. Uh, the guy. I love this bottle opener because it. There you go. Look at that. Um, kind of sings when you use it. So, yeah. I mean, you're talking about a coconut beer. You know, you're talking about a pumpkin beer. You're talking about an aged beer. So, these kind of things can happen from time to time with those. Take a little bit of mystery beer wrapping from mystery beers past because I just don't clean up all that well and we'll see what this happened what happens with the sucker it could still be a good beer it might have turned it might have been overly carbonated uh we do not know so i think that's you know it's getting there it's not gushing get a ton of pumpkin spice off of it um it's not it's gushing but it's not like the beer itself isn't gushing it's the top portion of it so let's stop fucking around here and just give it a pour and see what she's gonna see what she's gonna do here. Sometimes these beers just wanna be drank. That's not a bad thing. So there you go. Look at that. A little gusher action. Never hurt anybody. It's probably false because someone's probably had their eye taken out by a, a gushing beer or something like that. So clean. Uh what do we have here? Oh man, it's so sticky now. Um yeah, I mean, she kind of looks like a big, huge pumpkin ale. You know, just rich, soft kind of haze to her. Uh, big red mahogany color with a dollop, a hefty dollop of uh, big brownish notes to it. And, uh, you know, she's got a really sprightly carbonation to her. So, she could be sideways. She could be drinkable. The nose can tell us a lot. Let's find out. That smells pretty fucking awesome. God, it smells like the biggest, hugest pumpkin beer I've ever smelled. Now, that's fucking saying something because Avery is known for that. That's pretty much what they do. You know, with their Rumpkin series, their Pumpkin series, they pretty much take the pumpkin beer and kind of toss it on its head and do just these outrageously large ABV pumpkin beers. This one just even takes it next level. You get those big, huge pumpkin spices. Um, you're getting big, huge, rich, tasty. Mm, it comes off more rum to me than bourbon barrel. That's why I looked at it. I was like, wait, I'm like, this smells like rum. Is this a bourbon barrel? 
yeah, it comes off more rum barrel to me. Um, but you're getting those pumpkin spices, a nice kind of spirit barrel that comes very close to rum for me. But it could be that coconut. Maybe that's what's making me think about it. And then just that hefty dollop of coconut. Um, it, 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 it reminds me very much of the pumpkin rumkin base as far as the ale portion of the show. The actual beer portion of the show it does come off as a sweet, just super sugary, malty beer so yeah she smells huge she smells pretty nice might be a little bit overpowering we'll see what she tastes like cheers yeah that's delicious i mean she's hot but she's 19 percent, so not surprising there i mean she's got some definite heat to her again that bourbon barrel just comes off it comes off like a rum barrel to me. Like I said, I think that's a combination of the coconut. And I think maybe just a little bit of the spices in there just make me think rum. Um, it definitely has a soft vanilla coconut outside of the added coconut kind of bourbon barrel-esque kind of vibe to it. So I can get that. So yeah, there's a nice soft powdery chocolate component to it. Um, very cocoa powder-like. Mmm. She's not negative at all. There's really, I mean, there's a soft, very, 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 very soft oxidation to it. Nothing bad at all. Other than that, it's not turned. It's as overly carbonated as all it was. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that bottle with how aggressive that was. It didn't pop on its own over the years. But she's solid as a rock. Tasty. Big, huge pumpkin beer. I mean, here's the, the only thing. I mean, I guess... The coconut is what separates it, but I really don't see a big difference between, you know, the pumpkin version of beer and then this. Like, rumpkin, rumpkin, so, I think they're, I don't think one's, I think they're both the same base beer, except one's rum barrel age, one's Kentucky barrel age, hence the rumpkin, and then can pump KY in, Kentucky bourbon barrels. And then I think that's it. I don't think there are any of those who are stouts. This tastes very similar to those beers. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe this is just they made one of those and decided, fuck it, let's throw some pumpkin or uh, coconut in it. See what happens with it. I don't know. So it's tasty. It's, dig it's diggable. I love it. I like the fact that it has a little bit of age on it. Adds a little bit of depth to it. Get getting it creeping it closer to that kind of uh, rum soak raisin thing that it's just eking towards but a little bit more time would have got it to um, but it's nothing out of the ordinary that you wouldn't get from a rumpkin or pumpkin uh, which is weird because I'm saying that in kind of like a meh whatever it's kind of like rumpkin or pumpkin which are in my eyes some of the better kind of if not the best kind of pumpkin barrel aged beers out there it's tasty it's fun I like it I dig it that coconut does show so there's a difference so I shouldn't be banging on it too much but it's quite nice. It's tasty. It's Avery. It's 19%. It's going to screw your world up. Done and done. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better pumpkin barrel-aged beers that I've had as late? Yes. Even though it gushed everywhere, I'm cool with it. It's tasty. I'm digging it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to drink the whole thing. I can't really get down with these 18% beers like that. But yeah. Sweet. Uh, did I say how sweet it was? I thought you would assume that by... Um the ABV and whatnot, but you know, it's sweet, it's big, it's bold, I dig it. Valued availability, no idea, won it, and it was brewery only, obviously, and leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like rumpkin and pumpkin, then you would love this beer. If you like big barrel-aged beers that are just fucking hair on fire craziness, if you like coconut to be added to those beers, and if you like beers that gush but still end up being super tasty, then this will definitely foot the bill. And there you go, another review down. Down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive, if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting stuff, and hopefully you guys enjoyed your review, hopefully you're enjoying a nice little big old aged beer right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.